Drawing inspiration from the likes of Lil Uzi Vert, Playboy Cardi, and Yeet, the track features distorted high-pitched vocals over a bass-heavy video game-esque beat. The full lyrics are hard to make out. <laughs> y'all hear how she described it? <laughs> oh my god! Did y'all hear how she described the, described the track? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta rewind that. Listen to Enjoy how she described it. Drawing inspiration. Here. All right, so y'all may have heard UMG is going crazy. I don't know what's happening with UMG, but y'all know we talked about what was going on with them in TikTok, TikTok, how they removed all their artist music from TikTok, and now they just had a bunch of layoffs. So I don't know what in the world is going on in the music industry these days, but it looks like Universal Music Group is is making a lot of changes. Now we know things have been tough and. A lot of businesses have been laying off, uh, laying off some of their employees. But listen to how many people they're laying off. This, this is crazy. A major blow on the economic front to the entertainment industry. Universal Music Group is planning substantial layoffs within the quarter. The hard oh, hitting reality: hundreds of jobs are on the chopping block, especially in the music recording division. Employees, brace yourselves. The cause, a mix of President Biden's economic policies and skyrocketing costs for living essentials, forcing media giants like Universal to slash jobs. Y'all think this has anything to do with AI? I know that was kind of my take on the video where we talked about UMG versus TikTok, but the music industry is in such a weird place right now with people attacking what's going on with the streaming platforms and distributors and now UMG not only removing their music from TikTok and other streaming platforms but they're removing they're laying off a huge portion of their workforce I'm wondering man and I don't know y'all let me know what you think in the comments and in the chat is this does this have something to do with AI and AI music or AI in general this is crazy it's not just them the industry is really Amazon, Disney's Pixar, and Spotify have also cut jobs, reflecting a wider trend of layoffs across sectors. Silicon Valley and Wall Street aren't immune either, with Google and Citigroup announcing significant cuts. This is a stark reminder of our fragile economy and the real people affected. It's time for a critical look at these policies sure. and their impact. Dive deeper, get the whole story by tapping the link on our channel. All right, so that's it for UMG. Y'all let me know what you think in the chat. Uh, I'll be interested to see what happens moving forward because not only did a lot of the artists who were signed to UMG, they lost some of their reach by getting their music removed from TikTok, but now they even mentioned UMG is laying off a lot of their employees that were in the recording area of music. So I don't know. This is it's strange to see and we'll be interested to see what happens. Y'all let me know what you think in the chat. Also, y'all may have heard about this. This is kind of more of a, a fun one, an interesting one. Uh, Lil Wayne's son previews his new song and the uh, reception of that song was interesting to say the least. Let me know if y'all heard about this. Lil Wayne's check it son out. raises eyebrows as Shout he previews new DX. songs of his own. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So on Monday, March 4th, 14 year old Neil Carter went live on Instagram to share a snippet of a new song while throwing up hand size and dancing to it. Drawing inspiration from the likes of Lil Uzi Vert, Playboy Cardi, and Yeet, the track features distorted high-pitched vocals over a bass-heavy video game-esque beat. The full lyrics are hard to make out. Did y'all hear how she described it? <laughs> oh my god! Did y'all did y'all hear how she described the described the track? Oh, I gotta. I gotta rewind that. Listen to how she described it. Drawing inspiration from the likes of Lil Uzi Vert, Playboy Cardi, and Yeet, the track features distorted high-pitched vocals over a bass-heavy video game-esque beat. The full lyrics are hard to make out, but Neil can be heard making references to drug use and video game beats. Same triple D. Soon after the clip began making the rounds online, fans took the social media to share their thoughts on it, and some were less than impressed. Bro didn't get the right jeans, one critic wrote on Instagram, while another added, <laughs> oh! Hey, y'all leave the young man alone. 
I know he put it out on social media, but he didn't have to do them like that. He said, bro, didn't get the right jeans. <laughs> Dang. Why are they roasting How is your dad kid? one of the best rappers alive and you do this? <laughs> Others, however, showed more leniency to the team with comments like, he gonna drop a banger in 10 years probably. Oh, and nah, man. this better than Ken Carson. It's actually tough. Neil Carter was born in November 2009 during Little Wayne's on again off in their relationship with singer Nivea. The That's pair were crazy. engaged in the early 2000s. They had their only child together after getting back together years later, but finally called it quits in 2010. Oh, Lil Wayne has three other children with different women. Regine, 25. All right, we're cool. We all know the story. Um, wow. Shout out to Lil Wayne's son, man. They didn't even put respect on his name. That's crazy. I thought this one was funny, though. Some of the responses were insane. That man said he got the wrong jeans. God. Dang. All right, here's another one. So y'all know we recently talked about Meek Mill and what was going on with Meek Mill, Diddy, DJ Academics. But in light of all that controversy and all the drama, Meek Mill is still out here winning, man. Y'all check this out. So this is posted over on Rap's Instagram. Shout out to Rap. They said Meek Mill is back in his bag and currently has the top rap album Shout out to Meek Mill. Killing it, man. What they say? Shooters gonna shoot. So, hey, Meek Mill's out here doing this thing. Y'all let me know what you think. Have y'all listened to the new album? I honestly have not listened to it yet, but I gotta check it out. They were saying the first couple days though that it was uh that it was flopping, but it just came out that he's the number one album. I actually went to look and see where he's ranking now after it's been out for a little while. Um, Free Free said, who else dropped? And y'all can see he's actually number three still right now. So Vultures 1 is obviously number two on on Apple Music. Then right behind that, you've got American Dream, 21 Savage, Schoolboy Q with Blue Lips. And then Ariana Grande just dropped as well. She's back at number one with Eternal Sunshine. So, hey, I still call that a win, man. I still call that a win. Shout out to Meek Mill. I'm going to listen to the album today so I can start so I can stop talking about it and, and actually know what's going on. So shout out to Meek, Meek Mill. I know he's doing his, uh, what are they? I don't want to say semi independent thing, but I think he's, he's considered independent now. So anyway, yeah, he's out there. He's out here winning though, despite all the controversy and last but not least, I know I mentioned this the other day. I wanted to bring it up again. I'm really hoping that this actually happens. Aiden Ross announced that he's going to have a Zoom stream with Tory Lanez from prison, I guess. I know some of y'all might be team Tory. Some of y'all are team Megan. Either way, uh, this is going to be huge if Aiden Ross is, is able to pull this off. So I'm definitely going to stay updated and stay tuned for this. I hope it happens because it it'll be cool to hear what Tory has to say because uh, we haven't heard from him in a while. Y'all check it out and see what Aiden is saying. Tory. Hold on. Man, A next Tory. Okay, what the fuck is that? A X Tory Lane stream. Uh, it's gonna be a Zoom call chat. He's gonna be in jail. Um, <laughs> he said gonna he's be, gonna uh, be in jail. Uh, no okay. warehouse. Zoom call very very soon. All right. Oh, so chat. By the way. All right. So Aiden Ross said it's happening. I hope it does. It'll definitely be interesting to see. It'll be some good content. I mean, people in the chat. This is this is the thing that kills me. These people in the chat. Or not in the chat, in the comments. This man said, how many people actually look forward to this, bro? Everybody's going to watch this. Even the even the even the people that are supporting Megan. Like, everybody's going to watch this thing. So y'all stop the cat, man. I'm stop tired of people cap. who talk like this. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to we're going to divest. We're not going to support this. Y'all stop. Y'all love the drama. It's interesting. We're going to watch it. All right. Shout out to Aiden Ross. All right. So that was hot takes, y'all.